All right, everyone. Here's a uh, another balloon to come see. This one was on my uh, Manco Thunderbird. This was uh, the original motor off of about a '69 Rupp uh, C350 or a Digger. Can't figure out which one it is still, but as you can see, the, uh, I couldn't find the top piece of the motor, but this one right here, it comes out to reveal a perfect circle, pretty much. And it's pretty cracked up, and it's dented out some. You can see right there the oil slinger off the connecting rod hit it. And this piece right here comes out to reveal even a bigger hole. Yeah, this motor's pretty fucked, so uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do now, but the crankshaft is pretty scored. And there's also another bulge right here with a little tiny spot missing out of it right there. So, yeah, this this motor's pretty blown up. But, uh, this is what really surprised me. It snapped the camshaft. I have never seen that before, and it just amazed me when I pulled the crankcase off. What the hell? My camshaft snapped. I was like, okay. That must have been some real force in there to snap a camshaft. I have never seen that before, like I said, and it just amazed me, and it broke a couple teeth off of it. There, I think it broke more teeth off somewhere. Oh, wait, no, but, um, fuck. It broke teeth off the crankshaft gear. Like I said, the crankshaft is heavily scored. And, I get this fucking motor back. Um, yeah, here's what I found of the rod. There's all those pieces of the rod. And here's the oil slinger that's pretty twisted. I found that land in the middle of the road. Uh, but, yeah, this motor and rod camshaft is pretty fucked. And then the crankcase really surprised me, too, because this is the third motor that's blown up. Never seen it happen. It, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Uh -huh. It uh, cracked the crankcase on the top there. Never seen that happen either. That that surprised me because crankcases usually don't get that much of a blow from the inside enough to crack it. So yeah, but at least I got a good uh, another good uh, kind of good parts motor, I guess. Uh, I still got a good carb and exhaust and recoil and stuff, but uh, yeah, that motor's pretty fucked. So, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but... Oh, yeah, and on the inside, if you've ever taken apart one of these motors where the camshaft sits on the inside of the block, it broke that part, too. It was like a little round circle, and it busted it off. Oh, yeah. And, um, if any of y'all have a go-kart or a mini bike and you run a Hilliard clutch, um, this is supposedly a Hilliard Extreme Duty. Well, they're telling you a whole bunch of bullshit lies, because this thing absolutely fucking sucks. It fucking broke. Like, the metal... See, this shit isn't supposed to come out, but it does. And, uh, the metal, it just snapped there. Like, how the hell does that happen? And it's extreme duty, apparently. Yeah, well, you know what? Fuck that. And you see all this shit here? It's supposed to be like the other side, square. But no, it's all rounded. So every time I took off... It went, <laughs> and I chattered like a whole bunch, like it was slipping or something. And then if you look at this thing, those are supposed to be square too, but no. They're all fucking rounded, because Hilliard makes the worst goddamn clutches ever. And, like, this is the outer piece of a Comet clutch, which is like ten times better than Hilliard. And, like, I fucked up and snapped these little things off that went on here, so I had to weld it back. But... Yeah, the Hilliard one has this stupid brass bushing that comes through here, and it wore down enough so the clutch would, like, you could turn it on the inside of the magnets or weights, whatever you want to call them, and, like, you could probably see five sixteenths of an inch of these, and you're not supposed to be able to see any of it. You're not even supposed to be able to move it at all. So, yeah, don't ever buy a Hilliard clutch. It's not worth the money. I know they're, like, 40 bucks at Northern, but... It seems like a good deal, and they tell you all this bullshit on the package about extreme duty and all. They fucking suck. I've had my friend Chris's mini bike had the same damn Comet clutch on it for almost 40 years now, and 
as far as we know, it's never had a problem. Never, the metal has never busted open like this one has. It's a fucking piece of shit. So, yeah. Don't ever buy a hoodie clutch, that's what I'm saying. It's well worth the money to just spend $80, price the money, and just buy a comet. It'll last you ten times longer. I only had this clutch since last summer. It didn't even last me a year, because I bought it like three days before school started, like the last day of August or something last year, and it fucking already busted. I didn't even use it for probably about five months, because my other mini bike, my other motor, I shook the crankshaft on it, and I just let this clutch sit up there because that stupid brass thing was fucked. And then I just decided to use a different outer piece. So I just used the center weights, but still, it fucked it up. And they're junk, so I don't ever buy one. But, yeah, so i got to get a new motor from somewhere now, and I have no idea where I'm going to get one from. Or I could just get another crankshaft for my other motor that is sitting up there. Way behind all this shit. All the way up there. Yeah, I got all the piston and shit out under all that rag, all the original bolts. Got the head off of it. Things have been sitting apart. And what I had it on, I had it run for like two weeks, and I fucked it up because I'm a dumbass. I tried to put the bolt on that holds the flywheel on with the impact wrench without even threading it on first, and stripped the hell out of the crankshaft. So, yeah, I fucked that up pretty good. Uh, but I found this website where I can get a crankshaft for $67 plus shipping. So, yeah. Oh, and also, I finally got the parts for my uh, Homelite Super XL Automatic. Like, I ordered them off eBay and stuff. They should be coming, like, I don't know, soon, I guess, probably within the week. So, yep. Oh, and uh, this frame here. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see that big bulge there, but I had to weld it up. Because the frame completely separated itself, the two tubes. So I just put a piece of uh, 5 8 round stock metal in there. And that's some thick ass shit. It ain't a tube, it's full solid metal. So I don't think it'll break again. But I had to cut apart a lot of the frame to get it to spread apart enough to uh, stick the piece of metal in there. But yeah, that's all done. I just gotta put it back together now and put the motor back on it. Uh, yep. Alright, I'll see all y'all later. Here's just one last look at this piece of shit that blew up. But, uh, yep, I'll see all y'all later.